Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen is one of my absolute favorite books, and I want to tell you why you should read it. Hi, my name is Jake Phillips, and I'm a professional voice actor who does a lot of classic literature audiobooks right here on YouTube. If you like that kind of thing, you should follow me. Pride and Prejudice whisks you away to a English countryside over 200 years ago where Elizabeth Bennet navigates the pressures of finding a suitable husband. When the wealthy Mr. Bingley and the brooding Mr. Darcy arrive in town, the whole Bennet household and the town in general is in an uproar. At first, Elizabeth clashes with the seemingly aloof Mr. Darcy based on first impressions and hearsay. However, as hidden truths unfold and misunderstandings cleared up, both Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy are able to overcome their pride and prejudice to discover their true feelings for each other. Aww. So here's five reasons why you should read it. It's a classic love story. If you're like me and you like love stories, it's just one of those boy meets girl, boy falls for girl, a uh, girl doesn't like boy, they have some adventures which aren't too weird, and then they fall for each other at the end and live happily ever after. What more could you ask out of a love story? The characters are outstanding. Jane Austen did such an unbelievable job of writing these characters that have withstood the test of time to the point that you know them, you know some of these people. Whether it's Mr. Darcy, who seems like a jerk, and then later, once you get to know him, you find out he's just kind of an awkward guy and he's good as gold, to Mr. Collins, who thinks he's so suave and so cool, and he's actually excruciatingly socially awkward. To Lady Catherine de Bourgh, who never has been told no once in her life, and it shows up in every conversation that she ends up in. You have Mrs. Bennet, who's always in an uproar about something, and Mr. Bennet, who just needs a little peace and quiet. Elizabeth is articulate, quick-witted, funny, says a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff, private jokes that only she thinks are funny while she's around these other crazy characters a lot of the time. There are so many great characters, many of which you will know personally. It's funny. There's a lot of funny situations. Mr. Collins, for instance, practically worships the ground that Lady Catherine de Bourgh walks upon. She's an older rich lady. He's a new pastor in this little parsonage. He's like her, her little lap dog. It's really funny. Lydia, the younger sister who elopes with Mr. Wickham, comes back after being bailed out by Mr. Darcy, set up for success. He paid off Wickham's debts so that they could be married and be kind of an honest little couple. <laughs> she comes back after her elopement saying, you know, I'm just so happy to be the first sister married. It's just such a nice feeling, all this kind of stuff. Even though she had just put her family through all this heartache. It's very funny. It's a perfect introduction to classic literature. If you're new to classic literature, Pride and Prejudice is the perfect place to start. It's well written, it's engaging, it's not too long, and it's considered an absolute classic for a reason. Pride and Prejudice is more than just a love story. It's also a commentary of human nature. The novel explores themes of pride, prejudice, of course, social class, self-deception, and a lot of other stuff. It's just a beautifully well-written book. Jane Austen was a master of the English language, and Pride and Prejudice is a testament to her skill. The prose is elegant and precise. The descriptions of the countryside, the sunrises, the rain, are absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous. You gotta read this book. So if you don't already own a copy, you can get one just about anywhere, including your local library. But if you don't have one, you can use my affiliate link in the bio to purchase your own. It's so relevant to today. One way that I proved it was by reading the whole thing in an American Southern accent, kind of like yes. It's a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in one of a wife. The whole thing is read like that. All the characters are Southern, that kind of thing. It makes it sort of accessible to American people that maybe think it's only for British because it's not. It's for anybody. There's so many people that you know that are in it. There's so many situations that you've been in that she describes beautifully. And then the way she describes the English countryside and the beautiful houses and the characters and the parties and all kind of stuff, it's just a really good time. I hope that you will read Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And make sure you check out my redneck Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice right here on The Cultured Bumpkin to hear me read it. And look around. There's a lot of other classic literature here if you're into that kind of thing that you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this.